Good morning, boys and girls. Today in math, we're going to talk about tens and ones. How many of you remember the song that goes like this? Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. That's what we're going to talk about today, okay? Numbers that have tens and ones, okay? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a number, and we're going to represent that number using objects. We're going to use toothpicks. All right, let's do it. Our first number we're going to represent is the number two. So how many toothpicks do we need? That's right, we need two. And where do they go, friends? Do they go in the ones place? The ones or do they go in the tens? That's right, they go in the ones. So I can show the number two in tens and ones. How many do we have? We have two in the ones place. So the number two is two ones. Are there any tens in this number? Nope. Okay, let's add some more to make a new number. Our next number is five. Now we have two already. So let's add up until we make five. So we have two. Th oops, they wouldn't go in the tens place yet. Two, three, four, five. And now we have five in the ones place. So five is five ones. No tens yet. Okay. Let's count up and add some more to make a new number. Our next number we're going to make is this number. Ready? I can show the number seven in tens and ones. All right. Let's make seven. One, two, three, four. This little guy went flying. Five, six, seven. Now look at what we have. How many ones? Seven ones. We have not made a group of ten yet. Okay, let's leave the seven on and count up. We find our next number to make the next number. Ooh. I noticed something about our next number. There are two digits there. There's a one and a one. I can show the number 11 in tens and ones. Friends, how many ones do we already have? We already have seven, so let's count up to 11. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, I heard 10 when we were counting. Did you? Did we make a group of 10? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What happens in school whenever we make a group of ten? Yes, we bundle, bundle, bundle. We make a group of ten. We move it to the tens place and then we start again. So I went ahead and I made a bundled one, so I'm gonna scoot these off and leave our little bundle right there. We did it. We made a group of 10, and then we have one left over. So now let's write at the bottom. How many groups of 10 are in the tens place? One group of 10, and how many ones left over? One. So 11, the number 11, is one group of 10s and one ones. And look at that, one one makes the number 11. Good work. Okay, let's find and make a new number. Let's leave 11 on and make a new number. Our next number is, I see two digits, the number 13. I can show the number 13 in tens and ones. We have 11. Let's count up and make 13. 11, 12, 13. Did we make another group of 10? No, we still have our one tens, but what changed? The ones. How many ones do we have now? One, two, three. So the number 13 is one group of 10 and three ones. Look at that. A one and a three makes 13. So cool. Okay. Let's, ooh, sorry. Let's leave our three on and let's make a new number. Our next number we're gonna make is 14. 
Guys, how many more will we add? We over had 13, and we're gonna add how many more to make 14? That's right, just one more. So what changes? Does the tens place change? Nope, 14 is still one group of 10. And how many ones? Four, so we change the ones to a four. And we made our number. A one and a four, 14. Next number is 16. All right. I can show you the number 16 in tens and ones. We have 14, 15, 16. What changed? We still have one group of 10 and how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six ones. And check it out. A one group of 10 and six ones makes 16. Okay, got a couple more. Let's see our next number, 19. Wow, all right, we have 16. Let's count up, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's make sure we don't have a group of 10 yet. There's a lot here, a lot of toothpicks. Let's count and see how many ones we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one group of 10 and nine ones. How many more would we need to make another bundle of 10? If this is nine, how many more do we need to make 10? One more, awesome. Let's see what number's next. What number is next? I can show the number 20 in tens and ones. Let's do it. We have 19, add one more, and we have 20. Okay, let's count how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> bundle, bundle, bundle. I made a group of ten. I move it to the tens place. And then we start again, back to zero. So how many groups of tens do we have over here? One's bundled and one isn't yet. We have one, two groups of tens. Not one now, but two. And how many ones? Zero ones. So the number 20 is two tens and zero ones. Excellent. We have one more number card to make. Let's see what it is. What number is that? 21. I can show the number 21 in tens and ones. So we have, we don't need to count these. 10, 20. We know that this right here is 20 straws because it's two tens. Now we want 21. So 20 and add one more makes 21. So now we have one in the ones place, and we made two tens, and one ones is 21. Great work today. Guys, what I want you to do next is click on the game underneath this video. It's called Candy Shop, and you're going to go into a candy shop and work, do some practice on the computer with tens and ones. Give yourself a pat on the back and kiss your brain. Great work.